Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Four Harms. My name is Captain Richie and we are here once again on the Vicious Craft server. Hope everybody is doing well today. We're still here in La Chauda. Uh I think that's how you pronounce it. It's Italian for waffle. It's it's what I've decided to call this place. Um, <laughs> just so I'd have to say, you know, the Tuscany style build with the wafflers. La Chauda. Oh, that's probably been pronounced completely wrong. Uh, we have been on it on and off for the last couple of days. Now, I did mention in the last episode that uh, I have a week of work, and my aim is to sort of, every time I come online, hoping to do once a day, uh, I do a little build. And so we'll start off within here, and I've decorated a little bit. I can't remember how it was beforehand. Uh, but yeah, it's starting to look quite nice. Learned this trick from BOO. Look at that. It's like a nice chopping board with some beef on it. Uh, it's quite homely. This is... Only a temporary whilst we uh, use the blocks to build. Well, like I say I've done a few. I haven't done the seven, uh, like let's say one a day, because uh, I didn't have work after last episode. But anyway, we've done a few. Let's start at the end. Start with the most recent. Now, what I've been trying to do is uh, given each building a little bit of a theme, makes it easier to skeleton. I hear you somewhere. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to decorate. And fill them up because we don't want to just do empty shells. We'll, actually, we might end up doing that further down the line. Uh, but you know, there's a few things that I kind of need at the moment. Um, and one of them is more brick. And what we're doing is we made a little sort of a smeltery room. Uh, even though we've got a super smelter uh, over there, if it ever renders in. Um, but yeah, they, you come along here and in the shelter box you put in the fuel and... Downstairs is just a little furnace array here. The, the, this automatically fills in the fuel sides, but I couldn't be bothered to do a fully automated super smelter because, you know, we've got one back at the Octomed. This is just sort of temporary uh, if I need to, you know, make some blocks and can't be bothered to go over the outside of the lake to uh, to do it. So we've got uh, let's do some more steak, shall we? We've got a few things melted. That, I need a few more bricks so I can just to finish this off. Uh, but I quite like the look of the, the bricks with the white terracotta. And let's go on to this house. This house is our enchanting room. Now we go to the ender ender uh, just to replenish and get uh, our tools fixed. I need to sort that pick out soon. Uh, but it's nice to have your own sort of enchanting area here, which we've got here. Nice little enderman face. Empty chest. Uh, yeah, this should be everything we need. I do have books, I think, in my ender chest. But if I ever need to enchant, once I've got the 56 levels, then I can come here and do so. I'm sure there's a few things I need, like a fortune shovel. Is that a thing? Fortune shovel? I think so. Cool beans. Uh, I've done this little one as well. This is uh, my nether portal. Now, there is a nether portal set up on the other side of the lake. Uh, well, past the lake, past the village and further on. Uh, this one's here just so I can... Get to my bit easier. <laughs> uh, upstairs is sort of like an open shop situation, just storing never stuff, more never stuff. So this is the nevery kind of one, as you can probably tell. But yeah, carrying on the theme, um, let's say a build for each each thing. So we got furnace in, enchanting, nevering, which is uh, all good. This is my favourite so far. Um, at the moment, I'm storing dirt here and grass. <laughs> uh, let's start with outside the back. It's got nice little balconies. You can see all over the lake and all the work that we need to do. Pretty cool. And yeah, so I think it's the biggest one that I've done so far. And it's got a nice little fireplace. It's got a little kitchenette here. And a little bedroom. It's got a double bed. We've got closet we've got yellow terracotta that triggers me uh armor stand for some reason i think that's a uh, a light level seven which is why that's there to stop that happening and we've got this little outside bit here just to hold some flowers sort of like a kind of like a patio area i don't know what you call them i think that's what it is but there we go and the, the best thing i've got about these roofs so far is i can fill on the and creeds it and jump over all of them at the moment until i get to that one uh, that leaves us with the last build, or the second one that I've done. And that's this little one here. That's where we're going to be in today. It's essentially our little mining one. 
So what I thought would be quite fun is... Uh, I mentioned in the last episode, if you remembered, then it's actually my birthday. Uh, the day this one gets released. We're calling it the day before. Uh, so I'm just going to do sort of a little mining thing. Because I don't have many followers on Twitter or subscribers on YouTube. Um, I didn't really sort of have that. Sorry, interrupted my train of thought. Hello, Rascal. Um, I was going to ask questions like that I would answer and I kind of do like a, a cave-in situation. And this sort of goes down into a cave. Uh, but we don't want to go in that cave. We want to go further down, all the way to the bottom, and try and get some good stuff like diamonds and un Do I need iron? I think I'm going to need some iron. Um, but yeah, this is what I've started so far. It's like a little mine area. Rascal has got a mine over that side. That's some side next to the um, next to the windmill. Um, but should we? I went that way first, so let's go. Let's go this way. And so I got some questions up. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, oh, sorry, Rascal. Um, to the actual questions. Have I got any torches? No, I do not. Let me just uh, get some torches and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got a fair few uh, torches now. I did start doing this, but as you can imagine, uh, I messed up. So, uh, <laughs> take two, right? Let's get into the questions. Did a search for 36 questions on your 36th birthday, and this will come up. So, like I say, the link will be in the description for it. Uh, but let's crack straight into these questions. Uh, starts off with number one. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Um, I guess I would live in England still. I don't know. I mean, the best thing about um, being English, I guess, is like most countries in the world speak English. So anywhere you go, you know, you're, not, you're still in your comfort zone, which is, I don't know, it's a bit of a double-edged sword really because it's it makes things easy. But you kind of sort of hold yourself back a little bit. Uh, I've been to a few places in Europe, I've been to America, but I don't know if uh, I live in anywhere that I've been to. I guess I would stay at home. Um, I, do, I do like where I live, um, I'm sure that's a, a terrible answer, but I, I would like to live in the countryside, I think. So, I live kind of in a city at the moment, and it'd be nice to, you know, one day not live in the city, live in the countryside. And maybe in like kind of a, a Scandinavian style wooden log house that'd be pretty cool yeah uh question two what is your biggest fear uh, biggest fear is probably asphyxiation when i was uh what was it 12 13 maybe 14 found out that i'm allergic to uh, dog hair uh which doesn't sound like much but kind of triggers a kind of uh, an asthmatic reaction which means that uh I mean, it doesn't happen as much nowadays. I think you could, with asthma, you kind of grow out of it. But there were stages when I was a bit younger where not being able to breathe, um, you know, felt really bad. Really, really bad. And uh, I think it's from, from such a sort of young age, I didn't like the thought of not being able to breathe. So I think that still kind of still triggers me a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess, I guess asphyxiation... I mean, it's probably one of the worst ways to die as well, isn't it? Like drowning or suffocation. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to save for that. Uh, what is your favourite family vacation? My favourite family vacation was when we all went to Florida um, for the first time as a family. Growing up, we only sort of vacationed in Devon. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with Devon. It was, you know, served a great purpose for when we were younger. Um, but it was the first time we went abroad, and the first time we went abroad, we did the whole usual um, British thing, or I suppose any vacation that would do it. Oh, hello, lava. You're right. Let's get rid of that. Don't want these. Get rid of all those. In fact, there's too many to get rid of. We're just going to uh, cover it up. Yeah, we did all the Disney uh, and Universal Studios and all that, all that usual stuff, and you know, very fond memories of going there for the first time. In fact, let's get rid of. We don't need to keep this. We want to keep uh, diorite and granite and anything not stone. Right? Cool. Uh, yeah, and like I say, SeaWorld and Universal and... Oh, we've got a cave here. Oh, hello. Did I bring my water bucket? I did. 
Uh, this was going to be a, like sort of a, a strip mine question. But if I come across a cave, then I'm not going to say, you know, no to it. It's, uh, it's probably a little bit more adventurous, right? Probably a little bit. Watch me get lost in a little cave. And it is a little cave. Points for being brave. Uh, do I want to get the coal? I'm going to get this coal because I haven't really got much on me. Um, and it's good for XP. Could have an XP house actually upstairs. That'd be pretty good. It's a shame you can't use coal as a die. That would be the best thing. I, I know they introduced like a, was it a wither rose? I still haven't used it. But I think coal would be great as a die because there's so much of it. And you know, at the moment it's that like wither rose, which apparently is hard to get. And, uh, squid ink, which again, a bit of a pain to get. Uh, question four, what would you change about yourself if you could? Um, hmm, that's quite a difficult question, actually. Uh, I guess there are moments of anxiety that sort of kick in in social situations. It happens on the server a lot, like in a sort of, uh, a pre UHC situation where there's I don't know I've done a few recorded rounds now and I'm getting a bit used to it but I say the Vintage Craft one where there's 80 plus people there's a lot of people talking and I just generally stay quiet because uh, you know I've convinced myself it's it's easier because then you have to argue with anyone we're well, not argue but have your voice heard there are a lot of characters who would like to be loud and you know the forefront of attention I'm just sort of happy quiet sitting in the back and listening Listening seems to be a good trait of mine. Uh, so I guess, you know, thinking about it, it would be nice if I was, um, you know, someone at the forefront as much, but I feel like sometimes it's the anxiety that holds me back just a little bit. But anyway, need to change the tool. Need to change the tool. Uh, question five, what really makes you angry? Uh, I guess at the moment it's politics. Uh, if you've been living under rock for the last two and a half years, our country is pretending it's trying to leave the European Union. Um, I've got to the point now where I just get fr so frustrated with it that I've given up, uh, which is probably really bad because you know if you if you if you really believe in something, then you should fight for it. But I've got to the point now where the people in charge are just faffing around so much that you know. There's no definitive answer to it. That's the problem. People want to leave. People want to stay. But no one wants the responsibility of um, what happens when it all goes tits up. Because, you know, a lot of the experts say it will. Uh, people seem to be in denial on both sides. And the politicians, like, recently, uh, we've got something, uh, what's it called? Is it prorogue? Prorogue in Parliament? Essentially means Parliament gets shut down. So... You know, if you're, if you think Boris Johnson is that lovable idiot, uh, he's not an idiot. He is a very smart man. He knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, he's basically closed down Parliament so people can't argue um, why no deal is a bad idea. And it's, if you've got less weeks to work, then there's less weeks to sort it out. So that's what's upsetting me at the moment, making me ooh, okay, uh, a bit angry because you know it's it's not so much as the government anymore it's getting more into a uh, dictatorship which i do not like and i never thought i'd say that about england and it's so it's pissing me off a little bit but there we go there we go uh what motivates you to work hard nothing nothing at all um <laughs> i've never really been a hard worker if i'm honest with you i just i see a job as a, as a necessity and whilst i enjoy my job it is just something I need to do to pay the bills. Um, you know, I've got a oh lapis. I've got um, a phone I need to pay for. I need to eat. I got to pay my mortgage. So that is all the job is for. If I didn't have to, then I probably wouldn't. Uh, but things do change. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have started a relationship recently. I suppose it's been a couple of months now. Uh, so my now my main concern is not all about me. So there's uh, a family to take into account, not just all about me anymore. 
little me plodding along <laughs> making excuses for not working but I, I do do it my work I just just know it's a necessity to do so uh, what is the favorite thing about your career well the favorite thing about my career is I'm a driver by trade right so every day is different I get to it's not sort of going nine to five and I'm not doing breaking it with that um, Nine, it's not a nine to five job where it's the same sort of crap in each day. It's the deliveries take you all over the place, and that's quite cool because it means that every day is different. We're going to that cave. Nah, let's just stay underwater. Yeah, so you, don't, you know you get, you get your regular customers, but um, say the the layout of each day is different. So that's pretty cool. Uh, recently, I've been doing these four o'clock starts. We have to do. Oh, we're gonna get this cave anyway, aren't we? We we'll have to. Um, hello. There we go. What's up here? Anyone? Any creepers or nothing? Uh, yeah. So that's that's what makes my uh, that's the favorite thing about my career. It's different every day. Uh, and with Christmas coming up soon, and I know you're saying it's only it's only September, Richie. It is only September, but it's going to start soon. If you work in retail, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, what is your proudest accomplishment? Um, so I guess my proudest accomplishment is something called the Spartan Race. All right, lads. Um, and that is kind of like an obstacle course slash marathon. Uh, I didn't train very much for it. <laughs> Not much at all. Is there? There's a few guys around. Is there a thing upstairs? There might well be. Um, yeah, and uh, I did pretty well at that. Saying that, I was. Oh my god. Is there actually a thing upstairs? Sounds like there might be. Let's go around the long way. Get through this way? I think I can. Um, Saying that, I also took part in a... What the hell? What are you wearing? Nice hat! Oh, I wish you could get hats in this game and not just in modded. I've got a feeling there's a, a thing upstairs. Um, I've lost my train of thought now. Lost my train of thought. Yes, uh, Spartan, Spartan Race was one good thing. It's like a marathon with uh, obstacles. But I have also done a half marathon, which I am... Quite proud of doing that as well. That's gravel. That's going to make the situation much worse. Right, let's just pop that in there. Let the water fall down. And then we should be able to get that a little bit easier. Um, What's the last movie you went to? And what did I think? The last movie I went to see was uh, Aladdin. The remake. As I call it, call it remake, because I, you know, I've been very much used to the old cartoon style one for God knows how long. Oh, hello, mate. I uh, click then to put on my shield, which I do not have. But uh, yeah, lad, I, to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised because. I thought it was going to be absolutely dire, and I'd be sort of like set my ways about the uh, original. But I was uh, <laughs> from the get-go. Um, you know, I like Will Smith as an actor, but I thought, and you know, incorrectly or wrongly so, comparing him to Robin Williams was unfair. But everyone would do it, myself included. Um, but yeah, pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Um, yes, I say. From the get-go, that make you right. From the get-go, I was singing the songs and loving every minute of it. Um, much to my girlfriend's embarrassment, because I was literally like, uh, "I can show you the world." Anyway, um, hello, mate. You right? How's it going? Is there a thing up there? Is there a spawner man? Spawner thing? Is that my couple? I cannot remember. Anyway, they've gone quiet now, so there probably isn't. 
question something else. Question 10. What would you sing at karaoke night? Uh, I wouldn't, in short. I am not a fan of karaoke. And I know a few people are. Um, but I don't like it. I'm just, I'm just not a fan. I never really have been. Hey, Diamond! Whee! Let's just finish this and this and this and gold as well. Cool. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of it. It's, uh... I know the idea is that you don't have to be pitch perfect and it's all about enjoying yourself and blah, blah, blah. But I just don't. Diamond is singular. We'll take that. Um... Yeah, just don't seem to enjoy it. I would, if I had to sing something, it would. That's a strange piece of lava. It would have to be, uh, I don't know, something that I'm good at because what is going on with this water and the liquids in general? Um, I I used to play Guitar Hero when I was younger a little bit. So I think one song I was pretty good at was Three Eleven Beautiful Disaster. So if I had to sing something. I'd probably sing that because I've done it a few times and I know vaguely, <laughs> vaguely how it goes. We getting all this stuff picking up still? We are. Fantastic. Uh, would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse or drive a car? Um, I imagine, well, I drive every day. I drive a, a van. I drive my car to work. I've ridden a horse once and that was a lot of fun. Hey, diamond again. And when it's just what I've I've, had, I've ridden a push bike, but I've always had bad luck with them. Oh, it's an Ata. Yes, very nice. Uh, always had bad luck with them. I used to cycle to the train station for college, and before that, I used to cycle to school, and just had really bad luck. The chains would always come off. I wouldn't be able. To, it's probably down to me like not looking after it properly. Um. So I guess it would be. Ride a car, ride a car, <laughs> drive a car because uh, when it's raining, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. Um, you know, the, the, it's, okay, in severe weather, hello mate, you're right. Uh, you, it's it can be quite bad, but oh, back, get out of the way, back. There we go. Uh, it's severe weather, it can be quite scary, but we don't really get that here in the UK that often. Oh, mate. All right. Um. So yeah, I guess it's ride a car bike. Should have put more. Have I got? There we go. Um. I've got enough arrows. I think so anyway. If we did bring a fuel, a fuel stack with me, a full stack with me. Um. Actually, one thing I didn't do before we started, which I'm probably gonna do now, because. We have been jumped on a few times. Is get out of this. Get on our better sweaty sweater. <laughs> For a bit's hilarious name. Just so we don't have to worry about stuff. Should we stay in the cave? Let's stay in the cave. Um do you like or dislike surprises? Why or why not? Hmm. I suppose it depends on the context of the surprise, right? Um, I do like to know what's going on, plan-wise. Um, you know, dude. Literally nothing. Nothing, not dented. Um, I do like to know what's going on, if that's, uh, you know, making plans and that. I'm not, I don't dislike surprises. I just don't think they happen that often, I guess. Haven't really had many surprises for me to go, oh, I didn't like that. Hello, mate. Oh, nice boots. Yeah, see, that, with that elytra off now, and with uh, proper, proper armour, we are much better. So, yeah, I don't dislike them. I just don't have that many to remember. It's a bit sad with this. <laughs> I'm going to go the other way because you're a silly bell sprout and we don't want to talk to you. Bye bye. Um, right, let's scroll this down a little bit. Um, 
Would you rather win the lottery or work the perfect job and why? Uh, win the lottery. Easily. I said earlier, not a fan of working. Uh, it's only do it out of a necessity. So if I can get away with not working and still have the money, uh, for me, that's win-win. It, you know, it means I can travel. It means I can... Hello, mate. It means I can yeah, look after, look after my family and wouldn't have to... You know, and then spend, have more time to spend with them. And that's the other thing. I, don't, I wouldn't have to... I could spend all my time with them and I wouldn't have to worry about the financial side of things. So yeah, hands down. Where's this guy? Anywhere? No. Uh, I'd take the money, please. If, if you give me the choice, I'll win the lottery. <laughs> um, would you rather vacation in Hawaii or Alaska? Um, see, I'd say Hawaii because I've never been. But I've never been to Alaska either. So, I mean, either would be nice. I don't really know much about Alaska rather than it's snowy and Hawaii's hot. I mean, is that the generic question? Um, do they have snowboarding in, in Alaska? Because, see, then I'd go there because I am a fan of snowboarding. But uh, I do like the hot weather. But sometimes heat can be a bit too much. I think this case coming to an end. Oh, I've got stuff here. Uh, let's, mm, that's a tough one actually. Let's say, um, yeah, we'll say with, say with Alaska or Hawaii. Which one did I say beforehand? Hawaii. Let's get some lapis for our enchanted room, shall we? Very nice. Very nice. Are we safe? Are we safe? We're not safe. Come on, mate. He shot first. Before he got even around the corner. How rude. Uh, list two pet peeves. List two pet peeves. Uh, I think one of my pet peeves is when someone says... Um, something instead of something. And it's not the pronunciation of the TH. It is, it is the K at the end. Now I sometimes say something instead of something. Do you hear the difference? Not many people will. Um, but when people say something, there's not a K there, it's a G. Learn to say the G. Uh, I suppose that uh, counts as well for um, you know, all the other words that ended in G rather than K, which is you know anything, um, something. <laughs> That's all I remember so far. Uh, where we came from down here, because I remember those mushrooms we broke. Indeed. And then we came from through here. Yes, we got to this bit beforehand. Excellent. Uh, another pet peeve. Another pet peeve. Can't really think of another, another thing that annoys me. Um, what annoys me? Questions with no answers. That's a bit of a cop-out question. Tell you what annoys me. Tell you what annoys me. Floating gravel. Update, please. There we go. See? If you're playing UHC, you'll be careful of floating gravel. As uh, my friend Bunny pointed out to me in one of the latest ones I recorded. Uh, next question. Where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself um, recording a 41 questions for 41 year old birthdays on the Vigicraft server. No, um, no um, I have no idea, if I'm honest with you. So if things work out uh, with me and my girlfriend, which I'm very much hoping they do, then we'll be living in a house together. Ugh. Maybe expecting um, a child. A child of her own. Uh, yeah. But not too sure. I mean, the future changes often, doesn't it? So... I think that'd be nice. If, I think as long as it's with her, then that's going to be where I'll be. That's where I'll, that's where I want to be anyway. So if I can make that be the case in five years' time, then that is where I will be. Uh, how many pillows do you sleep with? Five. It's five pillows. Uh, I got double bed. There's um, two on each side. 
and there's a what I call um, an extra uh. leg pillow <laughs> in the middle. The one that just gets moved around a lot. Uh, sometimes you put it between your legs. Sometimes you sort of hug it. Um, and I used to have six, actually. It used to be three on each side. Um, one mattress, the old mattress I had, needed some pillows behind it to keep it sort of stretched up against the bed. Otherwise, there's that annoying hole behind the back of the headboard that uh, no one likes. Let's eat some beef. So, yeah, five pillows at the moment. The sixth one's actually here on my chair, on my computer. <laughs> uh, right, what's the tallest building you've ever been up on? You've been up the top on in. Uh, Eiffel Tower is the tallest building I've been in. I guess it's a building, right? It's been built by someone. It's a building. Yeah. Um, school trip when I was 14, I think it was, to France. Went up the Eiffel Tower. I don't think we went up to the top. I don't think we were allowed to. Um, but yeah, that's the tallest building that I've been on. Nice, easy question there. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Scroll this down a little bit. Um, what was the last book you read? The last book I've read. The last book I'm reading. The book I'm currently reading. Uh, hey, Diamond. Hey. Um, is... I've forgotten its name. I can't believe I've forgotten its name. It's uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's one, uh, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry, is what I'm currently reading. Uh, I haven't had much chance to finish reading, but I will do, because I'm due back at university soon. And I kind of want that motivation uh, to study. Uh, last book I read... More diamonds! <laughs> last book I read fully before that was uh, Mr. Nice Guy by Howard Marks. Uh, if you haven't read that, then I recommend that one. That's a very good read. Uh, who would you want to play you in a movie of your life? I guess... I've been here. Cool. I want that back, please. Um, I guess the person who looks like me the most? Does Chad Kroger act? <laughs> I think that's, that's the person who I most look like. And... We got any? Let's just use this. What it's here for? Uh, I guess if Ch uh, if Chad Kroger acted, then um, I'd say him. Because uh, yeah, spitting image. Much to ah diamonds. Much to my dismay. Ah, I don't. I don't, I don't hate Nickelback like most metalheads do. Um, I just get. I just. I just go along with the memes. All right. I just have to. Let's keep that one. Do, do, do. Do These aren't even going in. These aren't going in. No one behind me, please. Gravel. Andesite. Sunlight. Cool stuff. Cool beans. Um, are you an introvert or an extrovert? Good question. Um, I'm not entirely sure on the meaning. I would say probably an introvert. If it means that I'm shy. Because even though I am outspoken at times, like I said earlier. Um, and I do play the fool sometimes. I'm more likely to sort of be sat at home. Oh my god. Um, being well behaved. There we go. No one wants to go that way. Let alone me. Diamonds. So we'll fortune all this when we get back. Just be nice to see what we get. Got 20 of them so far. Uh, if you were the rule of your own country, what would be the first law you would introduce? Um, no, <laughs> literally no idea. Um, I imagine that's... You know, um, on top of like the silly ones, not the silly ones, um, on top of the standard ones, is what I meant to say. Um, you know, no murdering, no stealing, um, no throwing babies into lava, you know, that sort of thing. I guess it would have to be don't dig down, don't dig straight down, because that is rule number one, whatever you play, right? <laughs> 
definitely do not lig. Do not lig. Do not lig. Straight down. And let's just put that there, just so we know where we're going. A few things around here. I'm going to walk straight into that, so let's just be careful, yeah? And how are we doing for torches? We're doing fine. We're doing very fine. Anything around here? No. Cool. Um, If you could join any past or current music group, which would you want to join? Uh, my favourite band at the moment is Periphery. And they all bring something, all three guitarists bring something different to the band, I feel. But over the years, they've, they've gelled. And if I'm playing my guitar at home, I do um, try and play their songs, so I guess it would be good to be in Periphery. I don't know who would get kicked out if I joined. <laughs> I imagine one of them is sick and I'm just standing in. That's probably the best way of looking at it. Uh, oh god, let's go through here. There's uh, loads of stuff around somewhere. Big open caves. Big open caves. Lovely. Let's just stand there a second so we can scroll down. Um, I just scroll down too far. Uh, what's your favourite fast food chain? Um, mm. As much as I'd hate to say, it is McDonald's. I am a sucker for their breakfast wraps, and I will go tomorrow. Probably for breakfast for my birthday treat, and that's not a lie. That is actually probably what I'm gonna do for my breakfast tomorrow. Uh, it's just too easy, and so all the major food groups, right? You got your bacon, your sausage, your egg, the the wrap. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> um, but it's, it's mainly for breakfast, which is why I choose choose that one. Hello, oh god, you're well tough. We don't even need to go through there. Don't even need to go through there. Um, what was your first job? My first job was working for my dad. Uh, my dad's got a shop. So that's where the retail has sort of been all my life, <laughs> is working for my dad. And I think it was just uh, putting out stock onto the shelves. Diamonds for people to buy. Is that it? Ah, uh, there's a thing there. Um, what celebrity would you like to meet at Starbucks for a cup of coffee? I mean, does it have to be coffee? Why Starbucks? Why can't it be Costa Coffee? Um, I guess, I don't know, what celebrity would I like to meet? What celebrity would I like to meet? Um, I think Stephen Fry would be good for conversation. Um, hello, guys. I think uh, Dave Gorman would be good to have a conversation with. Both intelligent men. Um, yeah, I think one of them too, because I think they're they're both you know both naturally funny. Hello, guy. Both naturally funny as well as ooh, oh, you got me. You got flame bow, have you, mate? I've got knockback though. Haha! <laughs> um, yeah, both naturally funny, which is, uh, and both smart men. So I think that's who I would choose to meet for a coffee at Starbucks. But um, wherever we go, I won't ask Dave Gorman to uh, put his name down onto a coffee cup. Uh, if you've seen any of his stand ups, you, you understand the reference. Uh, cool! Uh, do you love or hate roller coasters? Love them. I say that's probably one of the, one of the main reasons that my an answer to my earlier question was best holiday being Disneyland, Florida, and, and Universal and Busch Gardens, all that. Because not only was it the uh, the first holiday we had abroad together, it was uh, full full of roller coasters. There are loads around the Disney estate, and I do encourage you to, even if you're not a fan of Disney, uh, go there at least once, because it was, it was so magical. But there we are. I love roller coasters, was the answer to the question. Uh, what has hurt you the most? 
Um, what's hurt me the most? Um, this gravel. See? See what I said earlier about the gravel? Got bamboozled. We're like, oh, gold, that looks well good. You'll be careful with it. What has hurt me the most so far has been this gravel. Or maybe that um, skeleton with the flame bow. Um, I guess it would have to be uh, my own mind, because it can play tricks on you. I said earlier, um, you know, I've had a bit of anxiety in the past, and sometimes you can overthink things, and you are literally your own worst enemy. So that's probably what's upset me, or hurt me the most over time. Um, what is the best gift you've ever been given? Best gift I've ever been given. Hmm. Hmm. I would imagine it is the gift of friendship. No, um, honestly, I don't know. Uh, like I, said, my, I got asked recently what I wanted for my birthday, and I don't know. I honestly don't know anymore. Like when you're younger, it's much easier than it's like, oh, I want this Power Ranger toy, or I want. Um, let's go back even further. Uh, I want this He-Man uh, <laughs> castle thing. I want. The latest telly topic. No, that's, I never was in that stage. Um, uh, but I've asked, you know, this year I've asked, they feel, people said, oh, what do you want for your birthday? Um, can I have um, a new dressing gown, please? And some pyjamas. And it's, it's things I need more than things I want because I don't know what I want. Uh, and I guess, I'm, I, I'm sure I've had some great presents over time, but nothing really springs out. Because if it's materialistic stuff, then it's... Uh, it's been been over and gone with. Um, yeah, I say nothing springs to mind, so I guess I didn't really have an amazing present that I'm like, oh, I need to share that with people listening. Uh, what is your favourite family holiday tradition? Uh, our family tradition is, uh, I think I've spoken about this before um, during the Christmas episode, and it is at Christmas. And it's, it's literally just everyone getting together for Christmas lunch. I do it every year. The main family, the main six of us. And um, even though I offered to help do dinner in that, because we host it in our house over the last few years, um, my mum still kicks me out of the kitchen. <laughs> and uh, just, just, just go, you know, I think she's still got that mentality of, like, go play with your toys and I'll do dinner. But, you know, I don't want toys. Um, I'm a grown man now. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's the main thing. It's uh, it's having. Well, we got this weird thing in our family, which is um, presents on Boxing Day. Don't know where it comes from. I guess that's a weird Christmas tradition. Keep in it. Um, that I kind of enjoy, but for me, it's it's the meal. It's the fill-on meal. Um, probably the the only roast I have a year is at Christmas. We've been followed. No, we're not. Uh, how many pairs of shoes do you own? I own three pairs of shoes. I got my white Etnies for just general um, Richie and about. I got my work boots and I got my smart shoes um, for like weddings and stuff like that. That's all I need. There's, you know, that's all I need. There's, oh, where's all the things? I think we're coming to a dead end soon, now, aren't we? Hey, lava. Um, this is gonna get put. This is gonna stop it putting out in it. I can word. Um, yeah, we're coming to the end now. So let's head back and finish off these last few questions. Uh, what's the most daring thing you've ever done? Daring thing. Um, uh, probably the bungee jump I done actually. Uh, it was either 300 meters or 300 foot, and it's literally trusting your life to. Um, an elastic band so you jump off and it doesn't kill you that's probably the most daring thing i've done i want to do skydiving and uh, just need to probably save up for it actually uh but yeah bungee jumping was probably the most daring thing i've done uh, aside from necessities what one thing could you not go a day without is a phone a necessity because it's just a fantasy, you know, when I first had a phone, I was 18 when I first got my first phone, which is 
quite old considering um, how young you get, all get them now. <laughs> um, but it's like a fountain of information for me. Like if you like anyone asks a question, oh, Google's there, just in your pocket. You know, oh, do you know what's gonna be next week? Yeah, I can just look it up on my phone. I probably could go a day without it. It'd be a stretch though. <laughs> um, what's something you're proud of? What is something I'm proud of? I guess I'm proud of. Um... You know what? I don't know. What am I proud of? I do not know. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm proud of something. That's a really difficult question. I'm proud of sometimes not having anxiety. I know that's a bit of a cop-out question because there are moments where I'm happy to take take the lead on certain things, but um, yeah, not that often. So well, I'm just proud of still being alive at 36, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, what's something you've always been afraid to do? Um, afraid to do? I don't know. Let's bring all this with us as well, actually. What is something I've always been afraid to do? I guess... Uh, get rid of this mushroom. Again, I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, these questions are getting a bit vague towards the end. I feel so, anyway. Let's put this upstairs. Um... I guess move away. Uh, I think I've, I've talked about it before. Um, that uh, the four of us all live together. Uh, members of Four Harms. There are four of us, just in case you wondered. And I have. I had, when, we, when we decided to move out, I was thinking that I might move away. And I didn't really want to because of my job. And I'm kind of glad I didn't make that effort, actually, because, you know, I've. I started seeing my lovely girlfriend, and you know things change in that time. So I'm glad that I didn't. But I think I would be scared to sort of just you know drop everything, move to a different country, and just abandon everything. I don't think I could do that. Like I said in an earlier question, uh, I like to plan rather than sort of just be spontaneous. Ooh, sneaky! That comes around full circle here, does it? Nice one. Um, and I guess last but not least, what's the best thing about getting older? The best thing about getting older is becoming a little bit wiser. <laughs> it's um, I don't know. It's experience, isn't it? It's it's the it's the um, the thought you can look back on a certain things and go, oh yeah, that was fun, or oh I've learned from that. I I guess you know that is. Well, they say, uh, exp what's the expression? Something about wisdom. Wisdom gets better with age. That's not an expression. That's something I just made up. Um, but, right, we're clutching the straws here, and this has been a super long episode. So I thank you all very much for sticking with me. Hope you learned something. Uh, if you do have any questions that I can legitimately answer, then feel free to write in the comments below. But that will do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.